Hello, welcome. I'm your host, Lazavar. Uh, and this is Van Helsing vs. Dracula's Daughter 2, 3, and 4. Now, the reason we're going to talk about three different books instead of one at a time in separate videos is because I didn't get this and this one until like this past week, or maybe it was the week before. Like, it wasn't that long ago. I missed this one when it was new. I got that one the week it came out. And then I was like, dude, can you get me this one? And so I didn't read this one until I got it, and I got it like the same week this one came out. Okay, there we go. Backstory complete. These covers are pretty good, aren't they? Like, that looks great. It's mysterious, it's a little menacing, a little seductive, like, you know there's danger here. <laughs> this one is just kind of ruined by her silly, silly hat and goggles. I understand people like the steampunk aesthetic, but the hat, man, come on. And then this one. Like, that's what you expect in a book about vampires, right? You expect to see somebody getting their neck bit on the cover. So I like these covers. They're all pretty good for, for like, their own reasons. And one, it's good that I uh, didn't just jump in and read issue three without reading issue two, because issue two sets up a bunch of stuff. Uh, so on the one hand, you know, we get the aftermath of all the, the demon killing in the first one, which, uh, let me show you the monster. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. But that's great. And it eats all the corpses. Um, the interior art is pretty good. Some of it looks really good. Uh, I like the look on her face here, for example. The eyes, see the very far over shift there? It looks good. The wind in her hair looks good. Um, let me show the bad guy. Torturing. Oh, God's what is her full name? Is it Lysel? Lysel, yeah. Lysel Van Helsing's friends. Torturing them here. Now, these are Harkers. You know, come on. It's based on Dracula. What do you expect? You expect to see, like, completely random last names that were unconnected to the characters from the novel? Come on, bruh. Like, I don't know any background to this character, but I kind of expected to see a Harker show up, since the main character is Van Helsing. Wasn't disappointed. So Dracula's daughter is here torturing some people. And torturing them. Good. I think one of them's a Harker. I think that's a Harker. I don't remember what her name was. It doesn't really matter. They're the protagonist's friend. And this is one heck of a menacing pose. She cuts the cheek. And if the art has a failing, I think it's like in spots like this, because there's something about the face here that looks a little too plastic. I think it's the coloring that went into it. But at the same time, I really like the way it looks over here. That looks pretty darn good from the profile. Ah, oh, jeez. We're going to spoil a lot of stuff, but, uh, you know, things are not necessarily uh, particularly happy when she gets there. And so that unhappiness leads us directly into the next issue. There wasn't any action here. This was all menace and discussion. And you know what? I actually appreciated that, because we had, like, this action thing, we had, like, some plot, then, yeah, we get an action thing. So, where Van Helsing was, checking on her friends that she, you know, just went to rescue, Vampire Swarm descends. That's a great two-page spread, ain't it? Like, wouldn't you hate to be the person that they're going after? I know I sure would. Uh, so there's uh, some good action-packed stuff. The emotional impact is kind of drawn out a little bit too much. But, uh, oh, look, look at that look on her face. Smug. That's a great page, by the way. And, of course, there's the vampires, and you know there's about to be a big fight. And there absolutely is. It lasts, maybe it's not a big fight, but there's absolutely a fight. And what's there is all pretty good. A lot of it kind of happens off-panel. Uh, it's done in sound effects and dialogue boxes and stuff. It's actually a pretty effective way to do that sort of thing if you don't want to draw the whole fight. So if you have a finite budget of time and you want to get a book done, that's one way to kind of avoid it while still providing some of the impact because it lets people fill in with their imagination and your imagination is more powerful than uh, what your eyes can see for themselves. And then this one, number four, uh, the cover is a little bit misleading because nobody gets their neck bit in this that I recognized. But uh, we get some uh, backstory type stuff. You know, kiddo, vampires, Dracula, Van Helsing. 
And we kind of get like her origin story. And I'm going to skip over that because I don't want to spoil it. And our protagonists are tracking down where Dracula's body is. Oh, was it the previous issue or this one? Anyway, it's in Romania. That, that's all you need to know. So I'm just flipping through making sure. Yeah, I don't see it in here. Uh, we get some like crazy dream sequence stuff. And then... Presented without context. We get the setup for the next issue. So I kind of skipped over that. And I really wish I had number five so I could read it right now. Like, this one left me ready to be fulfilled with the next issue. I need to read this next issue. I need to have it in my hands. I need to see what's going on. Uh, the art is generally pretty good. The dialogue kind of makes fun of some of the tropes of the Van Helsing... Of, of, of these kind of stories, like Buffy. Like, uh, it's very emotional in this issue. And uh, her little buddy here is like, shouldn't you be making some kind of quip right now? Why am I doing this? You know, just kind of taking those Joss Whedonisms and lampshading them. Because, frankly, they're kind of stupid. Like, that was cool 20 years ago. It's definitely played out. Uh, <laughs> if you don't think it's played out, man, go watch Thor Ragnarok and look at all the attempts to put stupid humor in that movie. The humor mostly falls flat, in my opinion. Anyway. Your opinion may, can, and should be different, because if we're all thinking the same thing, then none of us are really thinking. So it's good to have alternate thoughts. But I really didn't appreciate the humor in Thor Ragnarok, and that's a direct descendant to the stuff that Joss Whedon was doing with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This story kind of, uh, it, it throws that away. It's like, we got very serious very quickly. Uh, issue 1 had like some weird stuff, like uh, the... Gosh, what, was it a fountain full of holy water? I, I forget exactly what it was, but like there was some crazy stuff in the first one that was semi-humorous. It was a little ridiculous. That's gone. That is absolutely gone. We have just gone boom, boom, boom into something very serious with death, with murder, uh, torture, action, and big stakes because Dracula's in Transylvania, her corpse is in Transylvania. Who knows what she's going to be doing with it, you know? The art's generally good. I could go through the books and nitpick it. But you know what? I don't want to. When you have something that's fun and enjoyable, you don't want to go nitpick it and tear, some, tear it down. You're just like, you know what? I kind of liked it. And you just want to leave it at that. And that's where I am. So I kind of liked it. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I just kind of went into this because, you know, I had the Dracula's daughter thing. And I'm like, hmm, that could be interesting. Turns out I was right. I, I really enjoyed these uh, Xenoscope books. I wish I liked the uh, Grimm's Fairy Tale. Uh, the scary book. I, I'm suddenly. Tales of Terror? I forget what it's called. Uh, but they have like that actual horror comic. And I wish the one I had picked up of that was better because that, that felt a little juvenile. This is juvenile, but it's juvenile in that, uh, you know, this is an R rated action movie that we're really marketing to like 14 year old edgy people, you know? Which is basically every 80s action movie that ever existed. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm going to let you go. You all have a great day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. All that good, good stuff. I sure hope to see you again next time. And until then, bye-bye.